Welcome to Lemmy Show. It's shot! It's shot! My name's Jacqueline McCafferty and I used to be a junkie but I'm clean now, clean and tidy I want to get dressed up in good gear now I don't want to kick about in a piss stained track he was sick down my front I've had it with all that I just want to look my best so I headed round to that Versace What's that all about? What's that all about then? Man, I've got enough for in here though. Do you reckon I can afford the gear in here though? You do it? Hey, what's that you're wearing? Is that Versace, aye? Of course. Right, cool keys, huh? Have you got any idea how much this would cost? Doesn't concern me, not interested, cos see that? See that credit card there? Lodge TSB, sweetheart. Six grand credit limit, all right. See that? Barclay card. That's a 12 grand credit limit right there, dear. All right. And see that? That's only a four grand credit limit, but that's for the Royal Bank of Scotland, all right. And I get offers for every other kind of credit card you can mention every fucking day. So you can stop looking down that wee nose of yours. She can give you what you're wearing. Give you what she's wearing and pay for whatever the fuck she wants. And all right, I won't ask twice then, just do it. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, Hen. Hi. You didn't fucking forget me in a hurry. All the people on the left, what bamboo. All the people on the right, boogaloo. All the people on the left, what bamboo. All the people on the right, let's go. Baba do back, we do both, both. Baba do back, we do what bamboo. Baba do back, we do both, both. Baba do back, we do boogaloo. Baba do back, we do both, both. Baba do back, we do what bamboo. Your bomb pop. Look at him. He's pure loved up. <laughs> don't start. You guess you sell a wee bird and he's all loved up. I don't start. What time's she getting here? She should be here in a minute. Cool. I'm looking forward to meeting her. Do you know, I actually feel a wee bit nervous. Are you nervous for? No, I know what you mean. I'm starting to feel a wee bit nervous, you know, f finally getting to meet this this lassie. It's put a, put a smile on your face. I mean, she deserves a medal. I mean, look at a man, loved up to the eyeballs. Listen, I know you're just kidding, but seriously, uh, um, she's... I know, I'm happy for you, mate. Aye, same here. Guess how long's that been now? See, I've been married for about... Well, that's yes. Ooh. Alright, here they are. This is Mick. Hiya. Hiya. This is Kevin. Alright. Alright, son. This is Sarah. Pain, pain. Won't go to the bar.
You're watching Adventure Call. My name is Falkenhoof, and I will be your guide on your quest. Greetings, Link 5. What is your name, Traveller? Hello. Hello, my name's Mary Johnson. Right, now, what it is... Greetings, it's Mary. Point. Let us begin. You awake in a castle tower. There is a window. On the floor is a rug. Right, now, what it is, I want to know when you're getting my sonny's money. I do not understand your inquiry, Traveller. My, my son phoned your show here two months ago and he found a black ruby on a web and he was... On Varigan's web, yes, I remember. Right, well, you remember telling him that that was worth 50 quid and you told him to stay on the line. Now, the woman who took his details said she'd have the check out no later than 28 days, but that's been there two months too and there's been no sign of a check and I've been... Mary, um, Traveller, I have been instructed that this is outside my realm of influence. But if you stay on the line, one of our no, elves will... they'll just ask me to get in touch with the heat office and I've done that. And they're not getting back to me. I want you to sort this out. But Mary, what can I do? I do not possess the powers. 300 quid, son. He's cost me 300 quid trying to get on. You seem like a nice boy. I'm not new, can they? I do not possess the powers. He skinned me, son. He skinned me. Would you like me to pass you on to one of our elves? <sighs> What's the point? Well... <laughs> Would you like to play? Aye, all right. You awake in a castle tower. There is a window. On the floor is a rug. I don't know. Climb out the window. You climb out the window and fall from the tower. You are dead. Let's take another call. James Petrie and Raymond Mackenzie are friends? <laughs> Northern though. Quite the opposite. Now there's a couple of strange bedfellows. Since when was James pals with Raymond? Practically broke his jaw. Long time ago, mine, but still. James Petrie and Raymond Mackenzie are friends. <laughs> well, they're probably no friends, friends. They probably just added each other out of politeness because James is pals with Fraser and Fraser. Hold is on a minute. <laughs> Did you just say strange bedfellows? Who, me? Are you? Aye, I was just saying that. James and Raymond being friends or strange bedfellows, do you know him? <laughs> strange, strange bedfellows? What is that? Well, it means that there are two people that you've been there. No, 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 I know what it means. I mean, what are you doing saying it? How do you not think they're strange bedfellows? Gonna, gonna, gonna stop using that phrase. Gonna, why, why do you keep... Since when have I ever used the phrase strange bedfellows? Well, it's the first time for everything. And it just seemed like a really good way of summing right, up. Right, well, that was the first time in the last, all right? I never, I never want to hear that phrase in my head again, all right? All right? Right. I mean, that's got to be the most wanky... Right, I heard you. I know what you mean, though. James, Peter and Raymond McKenzie, it's... It's mental. So there I was, stoning in the playground. No sweeties, skin. But lying at my foot was a wee reminder that my fellow pupils have got more money than sense. My favourite sweetie, the lemon bonbon. Crushed. That just summed it all up for me. That's it, time to share the wealth, folks. Time to share the wealth. So what I did was I clasped my horns together and I peered into them with this big smile on my face. Eventually, my first catch of the day turned up. James A. Black. And he goes like that. What have you got there, Gary? I goes, any your business. He goes, gonna show us, please. I goes, he's ten pence first. And as I said, my money than sense, the guy hunts air. So I shows him what I've got. Nothing. James A. goes, what am I meant to be looking at, Gary? I goes, you're looking at an opportunity. An opportunity to get your money back. And then some. All you need to do. Is to other people what I've just done to you? Get the ten pence off them. 
But I want half. Five pence, right? He says, aye, aye, no bother, Gary. And half he bolts in my pound signs in his eyes. Anyway, I went about the playground and I did that again another two, three times. I should have been rolling in it. But see when I went back to collect my five peas off him, I was getting hit with all the... Oh, nobody's phone for it, Gary, sorry. Dirty. Lion. Rat. Bastards. I was like, all right, no bother, see you later. And I went right up to Big Remy, the school bully, and I said, Remy, James the Black's pockets are full of money that belongs to me, and you can have the lot if you get that prick the pole crusher. See, within a minute, Remy and his cronies had James away his legs spread, running full pill into the pole. Crunch! Straight to the school nurse. Anyway, I was only doing that to send a message out to my other three franchises to tell them, show me the money. But I didn't think the rest of the school would get the message or not. Chinese whispers took a hold. And everybody from primary one to primary seven was like, oh no, I've got to start earning money for Gary. Aye, or we'll end up getting the pole crusher. Aye, and then you'll have to show your pole crusher bruises to the school nurse. Well, there's no need to tell you what happened next. But let me put it this way. Jackpot! Here they come. All right, what's up? Nothing. She's just been a total bitch. Oh, here I know him. Everything's half price today, sir. So. <laughs> All right, how you doing? Go buy yourself. Ah, oh, good, I can't complain. Oh, the ship's passing the night, eh? <laughs> Aye. That went all right. You'd be uncomfortable for hand again, though, wouldn't it? Oh, you are joking. <laughs> Don't think we could do another one of these. that time it's that time again here we go one two three four five six what has got into you mate just wait till you hear it Oh, come on, what is that? Just wait. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that is, that is bollocks. Well, seriously, what come is going on? Just shut up and listen. Sorry, sorry to interrupt the show, folks, but I've got a cracking idea. See the next time you find yourself in a pub toilet and you've got a pen on you? Right on the door, Benny Harvey, R.I.P. Or let's say you're not old enough to get into pubs yet, let's say you're still in school. 
write it on a desk, scratch it in with a compass. Benny Harvey, RIP. Or let's say you're online, let's say you're on Bebo, Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, a forum, whatever it is, just get the message out there. Benny Harvey, RIP. Miss you, big man. Gone but not forgotten. And who is Benny Harvey? Ah, who cares? Okay, okay. Let's just go over this one more time. Let's get this water tight here. Hello, officer. How can I help you? Oh, well, Mr Mulvaney, it's, uh, it's about the fire alarm. Uh, oh, yes, of course. A terrifying experience having a fire in the building. Uh, oh, well, Mr Mulvaney, there, uh, there was no fire. We believe the fire alarm was triggered either maliciously or as a, as a practical joke. Uh, really? Uh, well... I failed to see the funny side. It caused a major disturbance. Have you caught the fellow? Uh, well, Mr Mulvaney, I would actually like to ask you where you were at the time of the fire alarm being triggered. Why? No, you're, you're not saying that. You think I did it? OK, OK, officer. You want to know what it was? OK, I'll tell you. I was in the toilet. OK? You'd like to embarrass me? I was in the toilet. Now, considering there is no fire alarm trigger in the toilet, are you seriously suggesting that I just stood up from my desk, walked down the corridor, triggered the fire alarm for no reason, and then raced into the toilet as fast as I could, and then stepped right back out again to pretend to everyone I was there all along? Is that what you're suggesting? Quite preposterous, isn't it? A round of drinks, please. So, what would you like? A round of drinks! You in the computers? Are you in the computers, son? Do you do you want the computers? Aye. Well, you know how the way the letters are all laid out over the place on the Aye. Well, do you know that they managed to work out if we could go back thousands of years and change the alphabet so that it was in that order to begin with? Do you know what? What? See, by now? We would have had an extra finger. Can I speak to you for a second? Just got a text for Sarah. She just had a scan, a 3D scan of her baby. That's amazing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The thing is, she's, she still doesn't know if she's going to have a boy or a lassie because she's just going to wait until the day, right? Mm -hmm. But that means that I don't know what to get her. I don't know, should I get her like blue pyjamas or pink pyjamas? Mm -hmm. So what I was thinking was maybe I could get either a pram or get her money. What do you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm, yeah, pram mm -hmm, money. Uh, mm -hmm, yeah, a uh, pram. That's what I was thinking. Oh, what else? Oh, I so I phoned the council about the rubbish, mm -hmm. and he said there's nothing they can do about it unless we find out who's putting their bags in our bin. There's 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 nothing we can do. Mm -hmm. I says, well, how about if I just look in one of their bin bags and just rip it open and find an address in an envelope and tell you about it? Mm -hmm. And he says, oh, you're not allowed to do that. It's against the law. You just have to catch them in the act. Mm -hmm. How am I meant to do that? Just keep putting it. The, the, the bin sheds like a tramp? Do I look like a tramp? Mm -hmm. I look like a tramp? Mm -hmm. What? What? Are you listening to me? 
Aye. Aye. Oh, and what else? Oh, aye, so I took a toaster back to the shop, managed to get a refund, right? Mm -hmm. But it was after a whole lot of argy-bargy because they says, oh, well, we can't give you a refund mm -hmm. if you've taken your toaster out of the box. You know, how am I supposed to know if it's broken if I can't take it out of the box? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? It's so stupid. It was just like back and forward like that for about 10 minutes mm -hmm. until like finally they gave us a refund, but it was only because of the queue, mm -hmm. big queue building up. They couldn't care less about me. It's the last time I go in that shop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You've not been listening to what I've been saying? No, I was, I was, aye. No, what have I been saying then? I don't start this shit, I was listening. No, no, what have I been saying? All right, uh, you got a text with Sarah and she got a 3D scan. You phoned the council, you got to catch him in the act and you took the toaster back and you got a refund. All right, all right, all right. Oh, is it all right? I don't know, get an apology. I'm sorry. Do you a cup of tea? No. Fucking, I've been doing a power of sleeping, right? Any time I've been waking up, morning, then all night, I've just been like that. Aye, right. Back to sleep. Honestly, every odd god sense, man, just pure lying on my scratch, I'm like a mad cat. See, when I get like that, I end up having these mad dreams, these pure real dreams end up kind of mind if it actually happened or no and there's this one dream that's been playing on my mind a wee bit there was me my sister and my dad and we were having a party but somehow we are having it up the top of that finishing crane. And that's what makes me think it never happened, cause that can't be done. Anyway, and the screws turned up. A clock, so my tells everybody to hit the death slide, cause somehow we had this death slide that went out of the Clyde, right? And I'm like, go, go, go. My turn to go, and I'm like, here, watch this. Just stop, yo. Tight rope walking at me. Everybody was like, he's bald as brass him. Even the police. And then I fell off. But I can't mind if I fell in or no. And I can't mind if it happened or no. <laughs> I was thinking of phoning my sister to ask her, but she would have thought it was half my nut. So I phoned my dad. Hello? Alright, it's Steady. Oh, hello son. What's the matter? Dad, were we up at that back finishing crying all night? Are you on something, son? No, I'm no, I'm just... I'm confused, right? Just... Whiting over up the tap that finishing crane or no, were we? Derek. Dad, don't just go on the answer is would did I fall off like a kinda of, like a tightrope hanging to the clyde or not? Derek. <sighs> what? What's happened to you, son? Oh dad, go on and know, I just want to know if you were up what we're on that death slide or no, I could be in trouble with the police right now and you're just... Derek, son. Right, cool, right. Just, enough's enough, just leave it. Bastard when he gave me a straight answer. Will we or will we know about finishing crane? 
I suppose we'll never know. Right. Alright. Alright, where's Sarah? Finished? Aye. Was that because she was being a bitch? No, she was... She was an old man. Did you just know... She was an old man. Life, eh? Life. Let me tell you something about life. This here, this pyramid of cards, represents something you've been working towards. It might be something minor, like this, or it might be something major, like a big plan you've been chipping away at for decades. There's been blood, sweat and tears. There have been people who have told you, you can't do it. There have been people who have hoped you can't do it. But now, with the end in sight, you're going to show them, and more importantly, you're going to show yourself that if you put your mind to it, when you dare to dream, not only can you do it, but you will do it. And that's life. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the show. Hope you've enjoyed it. Catch you later.